not one, not two, not even three, but four overtimes is what it took for Corbin to outlast Bell County in the first round of the boys' 13th region tournament in 2010. The two teams entered the first round meeting having gone through two completely different seasons. The Red Hounds were 25 and three, had just beat South Laurel to win the 50th district championship and had won 20 of their last 21 games. The Bobcats had just lost to Harlan County in the finals of the 52nd district tournament. And while they entered the regional tournament winners of seven of their previous nine games were just 15 and 13 overall, with one of the losses coming to Corbin by 19 to open the season. This game though was clearly different. Bell County owned a three point lead after one quarter of play and Kyle Lee pushed the lead to double digits in the second with his three pointer from the corner. But Corbin made its move. Taylor Jones turned his defense into offense, took the steal the length of the court and laid it in for two. And Isaac Wilson didn't want to be outdone he did the same thing, and the Red Hounds entered the locker room down just one, 37-36. The second half was when things got really fun. Future Eastern Kentucky Colonel Ben Maiden, soft on the touch, gave the Bobcats a two-point lead. Free throws would send the game to a first overtime. Both teams scored just four points in overtime. Corbin tried to make it six, but Wilson's attempt was off the mark. Second OT, Maiden once more. That shot tied the game at 70. He tied for a team high with 22 points. Corbin with another chance to end it. Aaron Mann's shot was blocked. Wilson another shot at it. On to overtime number three. The Bobcats led by two when they appeared to come up with the steal. But Keith Lowe was called for the foul, sending Travis Smith to the line. The sophomore calmly sank both attempts, and the Hounds and Cats continued into a fourth overtime. And the fourth overtime is when one team would pull away, and that team was Corbin. Brody Freeman with two of his nine points on the putback, and the Red Hounds marched on 88-80. With leading scorer Madison Johnson fouling out with just five points on one of 11 shooting, Wilson turned in a memorable performance, going off for 43 points, connecting on 13 of his 21 shot attempts and playing in all but 15 seconds of the 48 minute marathon. The Red Hounds would win their next two games and earn a spot in the Sweet 16, but would bow out in the opening round to former Corbin coach Billy Hicks and Scott County, 68-49.